Hi everybody, so today I'm going to take you along as I make one of my self-tie bow ties that I recently developed to raise money for cystic fibrosis research. My niece has cystic fibrosis as you may have seen on my blog. I found a pattern on So Like My Mom where you can make a self-tie bow tie like this. See, I made it out of my lovely red rose because the nickname for cystic fibrosis is 65 roses. So I make the rose bow ties. This pattern is great. Um, I will put the link to it below. But what I found is those you have to know exactly the size of the neck that you're making. And I thought it would be make much more sense to make adjustable bow ties. And I found how to do the adjustable ends on a different site. Part of what makes this easier when I'm sewing them is they're easy to turn inside out. The ones on Sew Like My Mom, which are fabulous, you have to turn them inside out through a little corner in the middle. So um, I actually took it and I made it much longer. And I have measurements for each side, a short side and a long side. And then I put them together with adjusters. So you end up with something that looks more like this with an adjustable piece in the middle. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make that today. So here are most of the things you will need to accomplish this. I have, I'm gonna make a blue one today. So I have my blue rose fabric. I have some interfacing, fusible interfacing. I have some pins I will use at one point. I have just some extra cloth show you why I use that in a minute. And then here is my template for the pattern. And it's extra, extra, extra long. The numbers are upside down here, but the length, I take my shorter side. Honestly, I err on the side of larger right now. So my shorter side, it's about 17 inches. And the longer side that I make is about 27 inches. That's to give it room to wrap around to sew so you don't see big unraveling ends. We need to cut two pieces of each side from this fabric. And we also need to cut one piece from this interfacing. Now I find it's easier to cut straight strips of the fabric and of the interfacing and you're going to iron the interfacing to one side before you cut this out. So let's go through it right now. So right now I don't need this pattern. I won't need this till later. But just to show you this pattern at its widest down here is just under three and a half inches across. And so I'm gonna cut strips of the fabric and the interfacing, and that's my cat, <laughs> that are three and a half inches across. Now the fabric comes in lengths. If I unfolded this all, the width of the fabric is about between 40 and 45 inches. And that's perfect. That's a perfect length for the longer side. So what I'm going to do, straighten up this edge if it's not straight. I'm going to line up along one edge of the fabric. Make sure it's nice and straight. We cut that off. Now I'm going to flip it over. For the most part, I'm going to need three strips of the fabric because like I just said for the longer one from end to end this is long enough. The shorter one I can actually squeeze two pieces out of one strip of this so I'm going to need three strips of this that's three and a half inches. If I'm really worried about it I could take it out to four but I think I'm okay with three and a half. So here's one. that up there. Here's two. Here 
there's three. If it gets a little thinner, it's okay. Okay, I'm done with this. Interfacing is a little harder because see its width is not all that great, right? It's not all that long. So for the interfacing, for the interfacing, I will take this guy and I will make a mark Honestly, taking this out. I know I need it to be about that long. Again, strips that are. Three and a half inches and I'm done. Pull it down. Get it as lined up as I can. Do, 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 do. That's for one side. Remember, the other one only needs to be about 17 inches. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. But if I start from the bottom down here, need to go until I hit 17. I'm looking at the numbers upside down. Maybe I'll go to about there. Now when I'm making these in bulk, I'll cut a whole lot of the same size all at once. Right now, just demonstrating for you guys. So. I have my interfacing and my fabric cut. Now before I trace out the pattern, I'm going to iron the interfacing to the wrong side of one side of everything up here. Okay, so here is where I'm going to use that extra fabric. This is actually basically like cheesecloth got it at the grocery store. I have two pieces. I took one of my long strips of the rose fabric and I chopped it in half. I'm going to flip it over to the wrong side. And I have one piece that is the super long piece. Here's my interfacing. I'm going to start with the smaller piece. Take the rough side. This is going to help give our bow tie some integrity. So I took the rough side, I lined it up with one edge, overlapping. This one, line it up, overlapping. I'm gonna bring it down here. Okay, now I'm going to put my damp cloth over and iron. Might go over it a couple of times just to check, just to be sure. I check these, these are now connected. Pretty well connected and I can check both ends just to make sure. I found thicker fabric when you get it wet and lay it over doesn't do as good of a job. Thinner fabric is just fine. 
So now my interfacing is attached. I do that first. 